Hello everybody, I just wanted to have a quick word about the safety issues with this particular product. It's the 01 VDS 1022i PC oscilloscope. It connected to USB via the USB uh, interface and it gives you two channels and a sync input and also a couple of connections on there to uh, set up your scope probe with the trimmer on the front. Uh, 5 volt 1 kilohertz and yeah it was advertised I, I ordered this from AliExpress maybe two or three years ago and it said it was 400 uh, through uh, 400 volts isolation so the I on this model stands for isolation and what that means is that the 0 volt connection ie the ground clip on your scope probe you can see these are plastic on the outside and metal on the inside the 0 volts um, is not connected to the 0 volts on the uh, PC USB connector. So in theory you can put, um, for example I do a lot of work on power supplies, my mains power, power supplies with no isolation and if I want to run them from the mains, I normally run them from an isolation transformer, but if I want to run them from the mains you can't put an earth clip on AC 0 volts and, and poke around on the power supply and take measurements because AC 0 volts isn't at ground potential on a normal scope it would just go bang or blow the fuse or trip your trip trip in the breaker because you'd end up with um, mains power going down to ground and that of course is uh, <clears throat> either it'll be a fuse blowing situation if it's low impedance or it'll trip your RCD breaker out but anyway so yeah when I bought it I'm sure I checked it said it was 400 volts isolation and I was doing a bit um, higher voltage stuff today on a project I've got on and I needed to make sure that I was okay with a, a running at 600 volts. And you can see on your scope probe, and I'll just give you a high voltage scope probe. High voltage scope probe, anyone? Here's a high voltage scope probe, and you can see it says there it's 100 to 1. high voltage probe and it doesn't say normally it would have to say cat 2 which is good for working on basically um, three phase type voltages so it's 101 100 megahertz and if we look at the uh, the other end of it does it say on there what the limit is talk amongst yourself it's all hooked up to the unit under test at the moment Now this one, it says 1500 volts, 100 to 1, and does it say maximum voltage on there? I can't see it. There we are, input voltage 2 kilovolts DC plus AC peak, so that means including AC peak. Right, so make sure you're using a high voltage probe. But in any case, if I've got um, a three phase supply and I've got a rectifier across two phases I end up with something like 600 volts um, plus about 300 volts between the AC 0 volts after the bridge rectifier i.e. the negative side of the smoothing capacitor on the high voltage side and the uh, earth of the uh, PC so this is supposed to be isolated and I thought I better check up today I thought oh, I'm going back I'm going for 11 in voltage voltages I, I better have a quick look and see what this one is and I looked at it and it, it said now that it says the spec of this now is just isolated it's called USB isolation but it hasn't got the previous claims that it had when I bought this and I looked a bit further and I found out the old Chinese manual still says 400 volts but the UK and European manual doesn't say 400 volts isolation okay <clears throat> so what what's the deal? So I thought I'd, it comes with these rubber boots on the on the back. You can pop them off, and that's got the plastic case in there as well. So if you don't buy the isolated version, you don't get the rubber boots. You just get and clip it back on. You just get the plastic end piece on the scope, and you've got your two inputs down here. And you can see that these have got the plastic BNCs in because. You know, potentially, and as has the high voltage scope probe, has got the BNCs isolated because 
if you grab hold of that and it's connected you're going to get a shock if the naught volts on your scope probe is at um, some level which is not ground you know floating above levels so why did they change it and why don't they claim that it's safe and i thought well and then i looked again and it says um oh you you've got two different types they've made two types of this with the same number and i don't know if this is true but you know chat gbt um I'm going to open mine up and just see whether I've got a high voltage version or a low voltage version or an in between version. So here it is. I took the two screws out at the end, one, two, and uh, this just slides out then. This just slides, this just slide. this slides out. There it is. And there's your board. There is your board. Okay. So you've got your inputs down here. You've got your, it's a good piece of kit. It's, I think it's 30 megahertz, something like that. Apparently good enough for running for run-of-the-mill scope um, testing, you know, waveforms on most switch mode power supplies. Um, and if you look down here, you can see that there are, there is, if I zoom in on that for you, you can see a bit better. Look at that. You have got an isolation area, no man's land here, across this here, where this is the USB connection to the, to the actual PC. This is the isolation island to the rest of the world so the electronics on here is supplied by this eight bullion uh, yeah that thing there um is i looked up the spec and is a 1500 volt dc to dc so well, it's a five volt dc to dc converter with 1500 volts peak isolation between the input and output so what that means is it gives you a, a five volt supply on this side which can float all over the place referencing to ground because it's isolated by the flux inside this little switching uh, power supply here and you can see it, it just bridges the chasm between pc potentials and uh, whatever you're connecting your ground of your scope to in my case four or five hundred volts sometimes so then I thought, okay, well, there's the power sorted out. And then I looked at this device down here, which is again, uh, a straddling the chasm of death. Um, it's an ADUM3150, uh, 3160, 3160. Anyway, it's, um, it's a 1500 volt peak multi-channel uh, digital data link. So basically there's optical isolation in there. There's opto drivers and opto uh, receivers and a 15, 1500 volt, so it's an opto-isolator for the data. It's your scope data is obviously digital coming down into your scope through USB to be displayed on the screen. The scope interface is pretty good actually. For 80 or 90 quid, whatever these cost, it's a, a pretty good starting scope and it's certainly good from the isolation point of view. So I thought, well, okay, I've got the good version with a 1500 volt isolation so I can work on power supplies and things. Um, I prefer to work with an isolated um, uh, isolated power supply for the bench but um, I've got a similar problem with my GW Instec uh, cl clean power supply solid state mains power supply used for testing again they don't state the, in the isolation um, it's an isolated live and neutral or pseudo like the AC output is uh, isolated but they don't specify the maximum voltage between those two contacts on earth either or ground supply ground so that's another thing which is a bit strange but then i thought okay well that's fine and um, i've got the right one and then i started probing about i thought well, i'll just check on this so i've got the meter on continuity here you should be able to hear it hear that and i'll just check between the naught volts on this board which is naught that can's naught volts obviously that's naught volts that's naught volts this is the same as the naught volts inside the plug okay so naught volts on your scope probe uh, is naught volts on here. There's no connection to naught volts on the PC, he says. That was a bit strange, wasn't it? But there is a capacitor down here, bridging the gap there. Um, so I wonder what the voltage ratio of that cap is. That could be an issue, couldn't it? Can you get those in that sort of voltage? I'm guessing you can. So there's a cap straddling the uh, chasm of death there. Hmm. 
I mean, it could be a 500 watt one, I suppose, a volt one, I suppose. Anyway, the main problem is, I think, is I'm going to have is this, that this is connected to scope 0 volts, i.e. the ground probe, and so is this. This down the side is all part of the ground plane, all this metal on both sides. And look at this. When it slides into the can, it goes down that slot. This is an aluminium can. The can is pseudo non-conductive because it's been painted, okay? So there's some paint on there, but obviously the unpainted part. Oh my meter's gone off. Bastard. So the can is can is conductive. There is a bit of um, anodizing on it. I just need to rock it slightly. And when we slide this board in to the hill, it goes into that slot there next to those conductive uh, traces at the side and slots in the front. Now, I think you can see the problem, can't you? If I'm walking about with 500 volts on my uh, not my uh, ground reference on my scope, and this is at, uh, plugged into my PC, that will work fine. But this case will be <laughs> at whatever potential the the Earth probe or the Earth connection on my scope lead is. So potentially, I could be working away on a high voltage three-phase piece of equipment power supply, monitoring and probing away, not realizing that this is going to be live or not at ground or at a potential which give me a nasty shock they do supply on this version they've got these big rubber boots on which i mentioned which snap over there like that to, to keep this i suppose raised up off the bench but it's still going to be live so i have to watch out for that i'm gonna have to wrap it in something or put a box around it just to protect myself um so that's it really a bit dangerous i'd say wouldn't you So, proceed with caution if you are using the isolated input one of this. Check what you've got inside and exercise caution because what most of the people online say it's 400 volts. They say, oh, the isolation is 400 volts, but then you look at the manual and everything else, that's, that is definitely only referring to the inputs, the protection on the input to the uh, scope itself. This is nothing to do with the isolation voltage between scope 0 volts, i.e. the input to that BNC connector and the USB connector at the back of the unit which goes off to your PC, all right? So, yeah, if you're using it as an isolated one to doing power supply work, just watch out because uh, the case is live which is a glaring and quite sinister omission to the manual when there's still old documentation floating about stating that there is a, it's, it is 400 volts DC AC peak isolation. Well, it is, because we've got to, uh, unless the rating that capacitor is less than 400 volts in there, they are one that's on, across the uh, gap of death. But there it is. Anyway, if you, just a warning. If you like it, subscribe and leave me a like. I appreciate it, and thanks for watching.